before we turn to Psalm 128 there is a doctrine in Romans that everyone should know, Abraham was saved by faith and not by his work, as are all Christians of our day. Romans 4.16, Therefore it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. The apostle could not have made it any clearer, that the promise applies to all of the seed of Abraham, which comes by God's grace through faith in his promise. We are saved just as Abraham was saved by faith alone. Out of great compassion for the weakness of the human nature, God provides a system of security to all who believe, therefore salvation is not for the Jew alone or Gentile believers based on the works of men, rather salvation is by faith in God alone, if humanity was expected to have any part in our redemption and reconciliation then we could never be certain that we have done enough to finish and that alone would introduce insecurity and uncertainty. But what humanity was incapable of accomplishing, God has done by sending his son to do the finished work on the cross, making it possible for us to be reconciled to our creator, restored to the state of Adam's creation, and renewed in our mind that we may become more and more like Jesus. Therefore we are all children from the seed of faith established through Abraham, that it might be by God's grace that the condemnation brought on by our transgressions of the law would come to an end by the propitiation of Jesus. This simile of Abraham having been justified by faith prior to his circumcision made it possible for him to become the spiritual father of all believers who live by faith in the promises of God. Faith was the original condition, under which God gave the promise. It is by faith that believers will apprehend and inherit the promise in the world to come and is not dependent upon any work or condition of man, but entirely on the grace of God. The millennial reign of Christ on earth will belong to those whose righteousness is by faith. Those justified before God by faith are adopted into the family of Jehovah, which is a place of everlasting righteousness that he has prepared for his adopted children. The Spirit shares our adoption papers in Romans 8 14-15, All those led by God's Spirit are God's sons 15 For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father.